Hi, Guillermo Salas here from the Salas team at Remax One. Thank you again for coming back to our video blog. Uh, today, I'm going to be giving you guys industry secrets. I almost feel like one of those, uh, where they talk about the magicians, they can't tell other people outside of their club what the, the magic tricks are. Well, I'm going to give you insider questions to ask a potential listing agent that's going to sell your home, and hopefully I don't get kicked out of the club, but uh, really important stuff for you guys to know. Uh, question number one. So the first thing we want to talk about is, or the question you want to ask a potential listing agent is what is their average sales price to list price? And what I mean is you're going to decide on a price that you're going to list your home, right? And then ultimately it's going to sell, hopefully at that number, but it could sell for a number below that. And the market industry right now is about 92%. So here at the sales team, we actually sell it at 96%. We're, we're beating the market. But why that's important is, you know, unfortunately, um, not every agent's built the same. And there are agents that will go into your home and tell you what you want to hear in terms of sales price. Um, and unfortunately, they just um, the price keeps on dropping, dropping, dropping. And when you look at it, it's 80% or 85% of the original uh, sales price. And that's not necessarily what you guys want, right? Uh, so make sure you ask the question. And if that's below market industry standards, then really question whether that's the right fit for you. Um, question number two, you want to ask yourself, what are, what's, what are they going to do for marketing, right? There's a lot of things you can do for marketing. Um, and, and I'll hit a couple of those, for instance, staging, right? Staging and how you position the property. I, I mentioned this in some of our video blogs, uh, first impressions are really important. So you want somebody who's experienced and has been through enough sales and has enough experience that can tell you, Hey, this is what the consumer wants and needs and wants to see in a home and make sure they point out those, those key things and prep it so that when you get on the market, you're not adjusting afterwards. Uh, photos. I've also mentioned this in, in prior video blogs. Um, malpractice if you don't have professional photos. So if they are with you and they're starting to pick, up, pick out their iPhone or the Android phone and take pictures, that's a full stop, right guys? Um, professional photos, hugely important. Um, make sure that they have somebody on, on, on staff that will do that for them. Um, Internet advertising, social media advertising. Right now, there is so much static out there uh, and noise that you've got to cut through that uh, from, from a marketing standpoint and be very niche in terms of your marketing. So there's a lot of demographic information that you can access, uh, you know, somebody like me can access to see who's most likely positioned to buy your house. And so um, making sure that that person understands that, has their database broken out and segmented in the right way, uh, that they're uh, doing their Facebook, uh, Google advertising in, in a very smart and intelligent, logical way is hugely important. The other piece that's, that's critical in a market that we're facing right now, we're tight inventory, is what we call circle prospecting. Do they do circle prospecting? And what we do here, for instance, I'll, I'll, I'll explain what we do is we have a room full of uh, people who are calling from eight o'clock to five, six o'clock at night, calling around for, uh, for buyers. Basically, if you're listing your home, you need to be calling around the neighborhood and saying, who's gonna buy? Uh, your house. It's um, critically important in a tight inventory. And when you have that type of proactive marketing, that's what you want in your corner. Uh, number three, you know, you want to ask that question, what's your success rate? And you want to look for key indicators of success. One of the key things you can ask for is how many houses they've sold. A lot of people, I mean, the average real estate agent sells about three homes a year. Uh, South team's done repeatedly about 150 homes a year, and that just means you're seeing more uh, activity, you're seeing having more experiences, you're seeing uh, more scenarios, and, and you can advise your client in the best uh, uh, possible way. So asking that question is a great indicator of experience and whether they have the level of experience you need in order to, to get you where you need and, and satisfy your goals. Um, other key question to ask is, are they a full-time or part-time agent, right? Um, HGTV has been one of those boons to our industry, but also what it's brought is a lot of people who enter the market uh, thinking that it's a flexible type of career and they, they do it part-time and that's just not good enough for you guys, right? This is in many cases the biggest financial transaction in, in your lifetime and you want somebody who knows what they're doing and just like any other walk of life with your doctor, lawyer, accountant, um, Real estate professionals, you, you hone your craft, you, you, you perfect your craft, and not every agent's built the same. So if you really want to be good in, in anything, um, and it applies as well for real estate agents, you've got to study your craft and be good at it. And it's really hard to be excellent if you're a part-time agent. So make sure you, you ask those questions. Uh, there's probably a, a bunch of other questions that we can ask them. And if, uh, if you want to hear what those are, please give me a call or contact somebody on my team. We're happy to share. And thanks again for, for uh, watching this video blog and looking forward to 
filming a couple more for you in the future. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.